Hello and welcome to the Discover History YouTube channel and also our epic tour of Hadrian's Wall. As you can probably gather, we are not only enthusiastic about Hadrian's Wall in Roman Britain, uh, we're also getting into doing these videos for you. Remember to subscribe and make sure you tell us what you want to see in these videos as well. Now COVID-19 lockdown is being eased, we're actually out and about. And as you can see, we're socially distancing from people. Uh, and also when we are going through styles and gates, we are using the old sanitizer on our hands. And then bear in mind, when we get back to our base, we are washing our hands thoroughly. Uh, just to take no risks, basically, we're staying alert, as the government says. Now, we've showed you temples, we've showed you turrets, we've showed you all sorts of things, even Hadrian's Wall and how it was constructed. However, what you must also remember, as I said in a previous video, it's not just Hadrian's Wall. There's all the add-ons, as I mentioned, the temple, for example. These are add-ons that brings us to an ancient landscape as such, really. Now, we're stood in an earthwork because as well as stone walling, you have to remember it's not all stone. We have actually got one section that's a turf section of wall, but then we've got the lumps and bumps of the landscape, and that is also part of the overall look at Hadrian's Wall. Now, what you will have is about 100 metres to my right over there, we've actually got Hadrian's Wall. So that runs over there, crossing the countryside, cutting the landscape in two. Bear in mind that is keeping the civilised south away from the barbaric north. Now, behind the wall, there is relatively a flat area which could be classified as a military zone. So within there, you don't really want people hanging around. So you wouldn't have the Britons, the Celtic tribesmen, hanging around, setting up camp, uh, chatting away, that sort of thing. So that was really a zone for military use only. So you would have, for example, a Roman uh, road running all the way through there, nice solid metal surface, as we say. Um, you could also have a few key buildings, but not many, but you may have a few key buildings within that zone. But there was always a worry that there may be an uprising or rebellion further south. And we know this from across the Roman Empire. You hear about all these different rebellions starting up. So there was always a fear that what if there was ever an attack from behind Hadrian's Wall in the civilised south? You never know. You must be prepared for everything. So what they ended up doing is building something that the famous Reed termed as the Vallum. And it runs all the way along Hadrian's Wall. Sometimes it's quite close to the wall. Sometimes it actually goes a long way away from Hadrian's Wall. And the inter interesting thing is, it is literally an earthwork. So if we've got the wall over there and then this military zone, what you will see to my right, close to my right, this mound here is a mound that if there was an attack on the wall from the south, basically those on the wall and in the towers would see enemy coming up and over that mound. So we've got a mound that's been dug here. And then we've got a flat area which sits here. Uh, this is called the berm. And it is relatively flat, running all the way along the inside. And then it drops quite steeply into a ditch. And as you can see, there's a lot of rushes in here. There's uh, quite a bit of boggy ground in there. It's quite marshy down there, as we found out secondly. And then, identical to what you've just seen, we have a rise in the ground here onto the berm on the far side. And then, once again, we've got another mound. So we've got literally the wall, the military zone, the mound, the berm and ditch, up to the berm, over the mound, and then famously into the rest of the Roman Empire. Now, I have got a little picture in this book that sort of shows it, really. 
an illustration, um, an interpretation, shall we say. So you can see the wall going along here. We've actually got a signal tower here or turret. Um, there's also a mile castle down here. And we've got the wall, which interestingly has a fort attached to it. There's the flat area, the military zone, and there is a road running through there. A couple of buildings, as you can see. And then we've got a mound going down into a berm, ditch at the bottom, and the same on the other side. And like I said, if there was a rebellion south of the, uh, the wall it, here at Hadrian's Wall, um, the enemy could attack, but they have to get up this bank, which would be uh, defended by soldiers. You could send them from the wall there. But they would then have to fight across the berm. Then they're down into the ditch. And remember, the Romans up here can withdraw all the time to the safety of their stone wall, their towers, and that sort of thing. So, as you can see, this is an important part of Hadrian's Wall. And on all the maps, OS maps and so on, you will see it marked on Ballon. Funny thing is, even now, historians and archaeologists are scratching their heads thinking, is it really a defensive rear guard for the men on Hadrian's Wall? Or is it actually a roadway meant to be a Roman road and they decided not to bother with it in the end? We don't know, to be fair. But it's a good defensive feature to protect the backs of the Romans on Hadrian's Wall, those that are guarding the edge of so as you can see, Hadrian is much more than just a wall. As you've seen all week, there are temples, there are turrets, there are mile castles, there's forts, there's the vallum. This wall encompasses what is often referred to as Hadrian Wall's county or country. Do come up, do support heritage, visit it. Best time to come, pretty quiet. Get up here, have a wonder about and look at the landscape left by the Romans. On that note, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.